Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, we are here in stealth with our quote-unquote caddy, the greenskeeper. And I guess we're going to end up playing around here eventually, but I still have people to chat with at this upper area, so let's go ahead and see. This cheeky bird keeps trying to steal my shiny baubles. <laughs> Why did I think it would be a good idea to bring these here? I don't know. I don't know. I see another side quest there. Sale, huh? I'm still setting up my stall. I've got a real nice collection of golf balls to sell. I can't wait. So you can actually get golf balls as an upgrade? You can get higher than my Pro V1s! What? C craziness! <laughs> Made some paper mache balls for the cheeky big birds. Perhaps if we give them what they want, they will calm down. That is actually a good idea. Sometimes you gotta distract the critters. Are you making stuff? Aye, but dynamo material didn't aid arrive yet. Should be here soon. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this is... Wow, this place is pretty big. The cheekies keep stealing my approach shots. Why does the course allow them to run rampant like this? So, hello. Can I pet you? I, can we make friends so that you don't steal my ball when I I inevitably play around here? No? Aww. Aww. <laughs> So it looks like this is going to be like a mountain-type golf course. No chipping! You're chipping, aren't you? I've given up on attempting this putt because the cheeky beak keeps stealing my balls. Uh, doesn't look like that there is a... Uh... Uh, ah, I see. It doesn't look like that there is any sort of... Uh... Marshall here for us to ch not chip or putt or anything like that. But let's see what happens. If we were to say, land our ball over where the cheeky beaks are, just out of curiosity, I really overhit that. Holy poop, is that fast? Wow. Well, at least I got in that one. Oh. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Could you imagine missing the hole? Like, like if you were over here and you missed your putt, you just go like, oh, I missed. And then here comes the bird. It's like, oh, I'm taking your ball! <laughs> That's gonna make for a heck of a round. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, oh, there's a whole other area. Oh, man. Oh, man, we're never gonna get... <laughs> we're never gonna get to the side quest over there if I keep looking around. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and uh, just, do, just do one area at a time here. We're starting with you. There's a wicked strong breeze off this peak. Think you can tame it? No. Ah! No new dialogue. Uh, okay. Yes. I've always got to check that. Yep, the wind is strong. See how you go hitting the big island. 15 yards of wind! Well, I know we're high up, but holy mother of poop. The more cylindrical you can get, the better, obviously. Uh, okay. Uh, well... Oh, I, don't, I can't use my power. Remember that power that I got earlier on that I said that I was going to use and I had a higher wind? It's not on the left side of the screen. I guess that would negate the challenge, but... Well, let's uh, see how 15 yards of wind is like. Woo! Uh, that, holy poopers! That's a lot of wind. Uh, okay. So... Oh, it turned the other way! Okay. <laughs> so I gotta aim, like, way off. Somewhere there, maybe. As a, as a guess. Huh. That was... I mean, I know that was my landing point, but I thought I was going to land, like, way back over here and then roll out, but... 35! <laughs> I guess I'll try over here. Best of luck to me. Oh, no. That's almost outside the circle. This is actually going to be harder than I thought! 13 yards of wind this time. Mm, let's go a little bit back. This is going to play for the rollout and stuff like that. Yeah, that one's going to look a lot better. There we go, okay. Now we're catching up in points. Uh, how about we... Because of that rollout, that totally threw me off. I'm going to try getting far below the mark this time. 24 yards of wind, and... Uh, well... That's okay, but it definitely cut it back more than I thought. 40 yards to the right. That's quite a crosswind you've got there, Mr. Course. <laughs> mm. 
I'm glad I'm not wearing. Holy jeez! I'm glad I'm not wearing a hat because it would be blown so far off the mountainside. <laughs> I guess I'll try there this time. It's about the same amount of wind as that 23er that I came up in the rough short. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, yeah, they're beautiful. I just need to get something like that more often in this. I mean, they're giving me a lot of shots to do this, it's just... Uh, it's just a matter of getting the hang of these incredibly high winds. Uh, let's try there and hope for the best in getting in the circle. Looking good, looking good, yes, nailed it. And now it's just basically vanity points. <laughs> okay, so 33. It's a lot of wind, but it's less than that 40, and I aimed about there before when I aimed for the 40, so... Oh, no! That was... Wow. That seemed to... Oh, because I was... I think it was because I was using a higher lofted club. Criminy! Wicked Central Alley. <laughs> well, that side quest is beat. Heck yeah. You displayed some wicked centrality. Cent what is actually? What is that word? Centricality. Okay, I kept I kept mispronouncing that. <clears throat> uh, that's probably to sign up for a round. So probably should continue on that route that I was taking through here before, just to see. Because I've already distracted myself with side quests. We might as well do more side quests, right? <laughs> Uh, I can't start my round until I know how the birds are going to react. My game is unpredictable enough already. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it would be pretty cool to play uh, around the golf on a mountainside like this, but it'd also be pretty dang dangerous, so I'm not sure I'd be that cool. Like, imagine if you landed your ball near the edge, and you had to hit your ball, and you got off balance. Yeah! Yeah, that might be a little little on the dicey side. Well, <laughs> this is fantasy golf, though, after all. Not IRL golf, so it's quite a big difference. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I just head on over to what I presume is the pro shop and get ourselves started on a round with the starter, because I didn't do all that much this part thus far. Uh, precision irons. I, I spent it all on that putter. <laughs> I was I was wondering if there was gonna be some sort of dialogue, but go like in the instruction manual. This food looks fresh, yum yum, delicious in my tum tum. Mm, checking checking shirts no. Oh, oh I can shake the plants. I was never able to shake plants before, or at least I didn't think I could. Maybe I could find some leftovers and feed a Snorlax. Anyway, hi there, I'd like to buy- wait, wait a minute! <clears throat> I know you! I watched your golf video. Oh, you saw my video? What did you think? It was great! Coach never talks about movements in such detail. I had no idea who there was science stuff in golf. <laughs> really? It's all science! <laughs> Do you think you could take a look at my sling? Sure I could, but things are a bit hectic at the moment. We're short on staff, so I have to run the pro shop between my training sessions. It's pretty hectic outside too with the birds. The Chica Beaks? No, uh, what's happened? They've gone mad! They're trying to peck my eyes out! Better check it out. Well, so much for our round. I guess we are we are side questing. Well, actually no, This is I guess technically would be the main quest. This is no good! They are causing such a commotion! But I need to stay and watch the pro shop. I can try to deal with the birds, and maybe after... You can give me that lesson. <laughs> sure, if you think you can handle it. Find the people they are bothering and see if you can help them. Alright. Uh, anything else to say? I'll watch over the pro shop until you return. Uh, let's just check our notes here. Uh, yeah, these are just like my current quests in progress, but I, I don't have any lead to the next catcher coin. I talked to him before, and I guess I just gotta look out for... Look for people. Maybe because it's gold? It's, the Cheeky Perk keeps trying to steal my shiny bubbles. Why did I think it would be a good idea? We were talked to you before, but let's see. I need to find somewhere safe to store them. He's an absolute enamored by them. Look over there. So I gotta hit it to the hole. I see. There are no Cheeky Beak birds over there. 
Perhaps if you can get the baubles over there, the birds won't be able to get them. Now, if these are like glass baubles, if I hit them with my golf club, they'll just shatter. Well, it's our only chance. Be careful. These baubles are precious to me. Perhaps you could store them indoors instead. There's no time! <laughs> yes, there's no time. No time. We just gotta hit them and hope for the best that they don't go off the cliff. <laughs> These valuable baubles. Okay, so you don't have to go in the hole hole, just in the ring ring. Hmm, as expected. It's a pretty pretty wide landing area though, so it should be okay for getting a bunch in there. Yeah. I'm used to doing these sorts of shots and there isn't as much wind as there was in the other place. Hey wait, why is it why is it why is it why does it go straight from the nine iron to the shovel? Did it replace my like pitching wedge sandwich combo? I never noticed that before. Hmm, maybe it had nothing to do with my irons. You know, those increased distance irons? As opposed to it, that it had to do something with, like, my shovel, which is maybe, like, a, a gap wedge that replaces them both? I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that really quick after this. Because uh, I'm, I'm trying to build, like, a balanced golf club set to have the most versatility. Although it would be kind of iffy if I... Whoa, that was close! It would be kind of iffy if I uh, had more difficulty hitting out of bunkers, though, without the shovel, but it might not matter because I don't have that much difficulty hitting out of bunkers in general, so... But then again, if I don't have the, sh the shovel equipped, then I won't see those digging spots. We did it! The bubbles are safe and sound over there, but how are you gonna get them? Once I'm ready to achieve them, I will just... How do I get over there? <laughs> <laughs> sure, now you think about it. Well, they're safe. When you get enough money for like a helicopter ride, you are golden, just like your text box. Oh, there's another one here. I was gonna go down to the practice area down below, but I'll go here first. Need some paper mache balls for the cheeky big birds. Perhaps if you give them what they want, they will calm down. I'll help deliver them, so I bet we're gonna hit them to them. I betcha. Come on then, you must deliver them quickly! We can't have some groups become jealous of the others, I suppose. Take this one to the bluebirds! Alright. Get ready! Oh, I, I run them? <laughs> I think there was bluebirds over here. Uh, yeah. I remember that. Because I was doing this challenge with that guy. Wait, what? Uh... Uh, is there more bluebirds? These are not blue birds. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Or am I supposed to go back to him? Oh, take this one to the red birds. What were the, what color were those? Weren't they yellow? Maybe? I think? Maybe? Uh, no, they were red. Okay. <laughs> I just thought I would go back there just in case. Take this one to the green birds. So I guess they've got to be down here then somewhere. This is the last area that we haven't been to. There you go, delicious. Back over here, is that the end? Oh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> it's not like there is tar in my way. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I think they may just behave themselves now. Yay! Yay! No level up, though. Well, that's two. I don't know how many I'm supposed to help, though, but... Uh, I'll just keep wandering around here. Hello. Your cheekies keep stealing my approach shots. Why does the course allow them to run rampant like this? Maybe I can help indeed. The only thing to be done is to sink it from here. Sink it! Really? Perhaps I could hold Sierra to make a run at it with the putter. I, s I guess. Uh, his slope is slightly with me, so that means I gotta aim a little bit that away. Just a little bit to the left because it's gonna curve slightly up and to the right based on my angle. I, uh, I don't know how hard to hit this, but I gotta just sink one, so. Ah, too hard! Yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> in the other in the other area is that if they are uh, if there's a ring near the hole and you're trying to make approach shots to the hole you could be uh... <laughs> oh no it didn't work it failed <laughs> it's called a success though oh that was my last ball well fend them off with a golf club <laughs> just like yeah yeah or something. Uh, let's try and straighten. St oh no, I made it worse! And I can't reduce. Uh, I'll increase my spin. And my drive. There we go. Okay, so that's. Can I get your ball back from. 
Ah, no, I guess I can't. I guess I can't. But alas, wait, but wait, would you like a red ball? Here, is uh, uh, is a red ball? It's it's it may be fish food, like from that other area, but still. Uh, okay, fine. You probably don't want the red ball. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you. Good up on attempting this pup because the cheeky birds keep stealing the ball. Think you could make it? Yep, I agree. Why don't you show me? There's a small area that we could hit the ball into. I reckon they wouldn't see it there. Ta I'm back ta there talking about that area that was between all those circles. It slopes down a lot, so be careful with your power. Uh, yeah. Well, I got the whirly putter. Should I try doing a little curvy curve? Uh, I think I should do a little curvy curve. That looks good to me. And the slope is slightly down that away. So if I knock down the power say to there, because remember how much it rolled out before when I played this. So I'll try there and see how it goes. Uh wow, it's way too much! <laughs> I tried my best. I have no regrets. Okay, so I gotta do probably the same idea as before, but obviously less power. <laughs> um, actually, maybe if I exaggerated the curve a little bit more, that would help. Because, you, you know, it would create more of a distance that the ball is traveling. Maybe. Well, let's see that. Yep. Go ball, go! In the rough, yes. <laughs> exactly where I wanted it. Maybe I should stop being tr or stop trying to be so fancy and just let it roll to the hole. Like hit it there. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow. If you, if you stop trying to be fancy, look what happens. <laughs> it's, just, it's miraculous. Haha, -ha, eyes like a cheeky beak. Well that's that, I, I guess. I don't know if that's all the all the quests. I'm still not ready to try it. Why not? Because it'll take your ball. <laughs> Let's just put it in a trap. Wait, did I talk to you after? Attitudes haven't changed a lot. I, I didn't I know if I talked to him after I did that quest. Because I, I just kind of went on autopilot there. Uh, that can't be it, right? At least I don't think. Could be it. I'll watch over the pro shop until you return. Yeah, that's not it. So maybe the last one is going to be over at that... Uh, no, not here. The other area off to the left. Maybe? Perhaps? Might be? Let's see. Because uh, there was that one person to talk to here, and that is having trouble too. Yep, there we go. I can't start my round until I know the birds are going to react. My game is up for the already. We heard this already. I think they react by stealing your balls, yes. But the different colors react differently. Maybe you can help me research them. I've already started my round, so any shots I take will go on the scorecard. Hit a ball to each color bird. Okay. I'm gonna investigate the birds. If I hit the ball into the rock, won't that like automatically just stop it in the area? Just, let's try it for the kicks. That'll be nice and yeah. Oh, it bounced it off. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> uh, no wait. I'm gonna try it. There we go. More spin. There we go. I'm still gonna use the rock as a backstop just to be safe, but. We'll see what little blue bird has got to say with this. No, don't go at him! Dang it, I'm wasting my shots. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hit into that rock, but I guess I'll have to risk it. Because that's that rough is the only thing that's going to slow my ball down. Yeah, okay, good. That'll do. Chirpy, chirpy, chirpy! Okay, so that one goes in the bunker. It'll probably be easy to land the ball over there, because it's more in, like out in the open, but at that other area, it's kind of tricky. <laughs> there we go, see it stops in the rough nicely, take that, goes into the heath. I probably should be paying attention to all of these birdies too, that's uh, that's another thing, because they, they're they probably corresponding to what they actually do on the actual course. Like, in terms of their color, like, what kind of hazards they bring them to? Probably, maybe, but generally, I probably should just avoid all the birds based on that. Uh, because it seems like they do not want, want your ball to be in any sort of safe spot whatsoever, but 
we'll see what happens and when I hit the more birds. Maybe the green ones will leave them in the fairway. That would be nice of you guys. Would you like to put my ball in the fairway? Probably not. I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a good idea to avoid all birds. Um, wait, isn't that all the colors? Because I got the... Did I... Oh, I didn't hit to the orange one. Okay. Uh, I'll just, I guess I'll just plop it in the bunker, because it'll just stick, it just stick, like, instantly when it hits the ground. Yep, perfect. <laughs> oh, orange goes in the fairway, so you're a helpful bird, okay. Very nice. Very interesting. So, orange birds are our friends. The rest, they can go, they can go eat some bird seed. Were you taking notes for each color that's taking it? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just know the orange is good, but it was interesting nonetheless. Okay. Yes! Yes! Very interesting. Very interesting. Yes. <laughs> uh, wait, is this like... Am I hitting up the mountainside? Like, I can't run up there, but I'm hitting a ball up there. Am I really doing that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's going to be a pretty cool course to play. I think that's the last of the quests, unless there's another route that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I didn't, like, say I should go back over to ye old starter girl, but I'll try it anyway. Uh, things are relatively calm now. Okay, I got them all. I wonder what's gotten them so fired up. You never go so far out of the way to steal balls like this. Perhaps now will be a good time to stock up on balls. <laughs> I got various colors, and they're very strong. We may need to buy more balls at this rate. Yes. How much are these? They are very cheap, young madam. Hmm, they're probably not cheap at all. Well, they seem quite strong and wait a minute. Where did you get these? Oh, you're controlling the birds. And you're getting them to steal the balls for you for resale. I found them. You didn't find them on the course, did you? Yes? Uh-oh. EXPOSED! These aren't golf balls. They are cheeky beak eggs! Uh-oh! -uh! Oh, so that's... So you didn't steal the balls. <laughs> you got the birds mad and they're looking for their eggs. Which are confusing as balls because people are hitting the eggs as balls. This explains the bad behavior of the Cheeky Beaks. I need to ask for your help again. Please hit these back to the Cheeky Beak birds. But won't they break? Eh, they're very strong. Your club won't do anything to them. So, I take it you will be buying all the golf eggs then? What do you mean buying? You stole them. Get out of here, you. Okay, we've got all the eggs. That looks like a lot of, a lot of balls to hit, or eggs to hit back. Head over to the marked areas and hit the eggs to the right birds. The eggs are always the same color as the parents. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm hmm. 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 I guess I'll do it this part. Well, no, maybe I'll hold off, because I don't know how many more quests I'm going to be doing here, so I think I'm going to end out the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I start hitting eggs to the cheeky beaks, I suppose, and hopefully we do not destroy their eggers. Although, if I didn't destroy those baubles, I shouldn't destroy the eggers. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs>